So a very quick video, um, freezing in the caravan, you might even be able to see my breath. Um, I promised some time ago after we've done all of our solar panel upgrades and our lithium batteries that um, we, we kind of tell you how long you can go off grid for. Well, this is going to give you a bit of an idea. So we came back home on December the 31st and it's been really cold so I left um, the caravan unplugged, not on hookup. We came back with a full battery 100%. It's a 100 amp lithium battery so we can actually run it down to 20% quite safely. And all we've left on is the heater on gas um, on the froth setting. I know a lot of people say you don't need to do that, but I want to play it safe, so I have. And we did accidentally leave the master switch on, but we also left the fridge on on gas for a couple of days. Um, one for this video and two because we were too lazy to take a couple of things out. So. We are now in January. It's really cold outside. It's been minus numbers the last couple of nights. And we've got to the point now, it's 4th of Jan. It's about 7 p.m. And I've just come out to plug the caravan in. Let me, let me show you what we've got. Here's my control panel. As you can see down here, hopefully, it is currently 4.9 degrees in here. So that's purely because the heating on gas has been um, sending it to that. But you can see the battery is down to 26.3. The heating um, running on that frost setting off of the gas bottle, it's just the fans running and the lights in the caravan that I've got on at the moment they are taking 3.78 amp, 3.77 amp out of that battery we are down to 26.3 that is for well five, five days to call it um, so we have been getting solar. Remember we've we've got the capacity in our in our caravan on solar to have 260 watts worth of solar coming in. We've got two 130 watt panels. Um, I'll put something up in the corner of the screen right now showing you what we've been getting. But we've been lucky to get double digits. We've had a couple of really sunny days and we've got sort of 40 watts or so coming in, but not for very long. So, you know, you see the numbers coming up in the corner here. Um, but yeah, don't count on solar topping you up during the winter. In the summer, it's fantastic. You can run indefinitely. Watching telly, everything in the winter, you'll easily get a weekend don't sit in your van and watch telly the whole time don't leave your heating running when you're not there um, but yeah just give you an idea 100 100 amp battery lithium it's going to last you more than the weekend but not much more you are going to have to look to charge um, either through HU or um, off your car while you're driving but also unless you've done some custom wiring you will have seen a problem we had with our car and our our hookup wiring um, you're not going to get much charging out of your car you know maybe 80 watts if you're lucky so it will take you hours to charge your battery up but I'm just gonna just gonna turn on the the hookup now and um, we will charge things back up hopefully this has been useful let me know if you have any questions um, otherwise look out for our next video. Thanks very much.